The Holy Spirit within you will make Jesus and the things of God real to you. Do you know why Jesus is not real to you? The Holy Ghost in you, you are not conscious. When you are conscious, you will make Jesus what? Real to you. He's the one who can, can make Jesus real to you. Some of us, we see Jesus as an abstract. True? He's the one that can make Jesus real to you that you don't doubt who Jesus is. To be conscious of his person. Three ways to be conscious of what? There are three ways to be conscious of his person. There are three ways you have to be conscious of his person. Are you getting me, sir? The three ways are in you, with you, and what? For you. Are you getting me, sir? Number one, read Roman figure one because we are under. One and two. Are you getting me now? So you are seeing number two, consciousness of the Holy Spirit. So now use Roman figure what? One. God in us. That is Holy Spirit what? In us. John 14, 16 and 17. I will pray the Father. And they shall give you another what? Comforter. That he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of the womb, the world cannot receive because you see him not, that I know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I mean, understand. If it's your Bible underlined with you and in you. Where is the Holy Spirit? Where is the Holy Spirit? Is he in you? Are you conscious? That's what I'm teaching. Where is he? Say the truth. If I say, where is the Holy Spirit? First, you do like this, like this. Say the truth. You go up like this. Say, Holy Spirit, help me now. Help me now. He will help you because you're looking up. He's inside you. Yeah. I'm so conscious, I don't look up. I just say, Holy Spirit, help me. He will talk to me from the inside. I've developed myself to that point, and I'll teach you how to develop yourself to that point. Are you going to say that today's teaching? I don't do like this. <laughs> Are you here now? Where is he? But say the truth. What do you do? Say the truth. It's not true. Uh -huh. <laughs> Second Timothy one fourteen. GNT translation. Shall we do it together? I want to go. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Who? Stop here. Where? Where does he live? Where? Put it to yourself. Where does he live? Keep the good things that have been what? Entrusted to you. Where does he live? You're sure? Okay. First Corinthians 3.16. I'm just trying to lay foundation for every... For you. Shall we do it together? Know ye not that ye are the temple of what? And the Spirit of God. Where is the Spirit of God? Where? Oh, God of heaven. Where? Are you sure? The Spirit of God is in you? Hey, God, no bragadia kotale gidia. Where is the Spirit of God? I know you just know before now. Are you conscious? Well, take a scripture so you can be conscious. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians 3.16. Amplified. Underline in me, in me, and go and meditate on those scriptures. Meditate, not just take time to meditate. Now, 1 Corinthians 3.16, Amplified. Shall we not read together? Do you not know and understand that you, the church, the what? The church. Are the temple of what? And what? Dwells permanently where? Collectively and individually. So the Spirit of God does not go and come back. Hey. <laughs> it's not on leave. It does not go three months and return. <laughs> it's in you even when you're sleeping. 
permanently. Do you understand now? 1 Corinthians 6.19. I wouldn't have spent all this time talking like this, but I want you to lay foundation. Shall we read again together? What? Know ye not that your body is the temple. This body is what? Which is what? In you, which you have of God, and you are not on your own. So it can't be you, and you look down on yourself. See ordinary me. I know it's obvious. Do you know where I come from? I don't know. In their goals. It's in you. Where is he? Oh my God. That's why Paul can say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, the anointed one, because I have the Holy Ghost. Where? There's nothing I can't do when he's in me. So I hear. You're unstoppable, unkillable, unslappable, unspellable, unfailable. So I hear. He said, neither shall they say low here or low there for the kingdom of God is where? We tell you, Luke 20, 17, 21. Now listen carefully. You know why? In 1 John 4, 4, he said, greater is he that is in me than is in the world. Who is in you? Listen carefully. Who is in you? If you just go, God the Holy Spirit. Who is in you? God the Holy Spirit. Is that true? Is in you? Who is inside that militant? The devil. Who is inside that uh, uh, kidnapper? The devil. Who is inside that ritualist? The devil. Who is inside that arm robber? The devil. Who is inside you? So the one in you is greater. That's why when he sees you, you should do like this. There are people who arm robbers don't face. When they see them, they do like this. Because the devil in him will recognize the God in you, but you have to be conscious. There's no arm robber in this world that can look at my face and leave. I'm so conscious who is in me. He can't even look at me. But the devil in him will tell him that what is in him is bigger than what is inside you. True? There is no the civilian will challenge a general. Whether a general is on short or not. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? There was a time, a one time presidential candidate, I won't call his name, we won the election, but then I became president. Was slapped by an Air Force officer in this country. An Air Force officer slapped him. It was a headline news. They did deny it to the Air Force officer. But the man was, he went off his way. So the Air Force officer said, I don't care the money you have. I slapped him twice. Very known man. He won the presidential. Therefore, it was a headline news that the Air Force officer slapped him. They did not to the Air Force officer. He said, I'm an officer. Can't a civilian cannot come and insult him? The devil is a civilian. <laughs> the devil is what? His agents are below civilians. <laughs> are you a general? You are what? So when the devil should see you with the consciousness, you say what? Moi, sir. <laughs> sir, here. He said they know not. They don't understand their new status. That's why they are suffering the way they are suffering. From today, you will suffer no more. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Now, some benefits of the Holy Spirit within us. Where is the Holy Spirit? Number one benefit A is divine guidance. Divine what? Divine guidance. The Holy Spirit within us guides us in all affairs of life. He guides you anything you want to do. Now listen. In the New Testament, it is wrong to go to any man to say, excuse me, what is God saying? If you know how to relate with the Holy Spirit, he will tell you. It's an Old Testament phenomenon to stand before any mortal man to ask. You don't stand even before your pastor to say, pastor, this business, is it correct? No. No. It's not a New Testament practice. Are you hearing me? In the New Testament, the Holy Ghost, where is he? So you can ask him, what do I do? He will tell you. I will go to tell you. Now listen. Turn with me to John 16, 13. Happy when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you to what? All, he will guide you. He will guide you. That's the, he will guide you to all truth. He, for he shall not speak of what? 
But once somebody shall hear, that shall speak, and he will show you things to come. So he will guide you and tell you this business will not work. This will work. Take this step. Listen. This is where many miss it. Every time you want guidance, be conscious is inside you and just the Holy Spirit. What are you saying? The problem is we are trying to hear one big voice from the sky. That's why we miss it. I want you to speak now. She said, I never hear anything. No. Where is he? It's on this side. I hear God as a man hears his friend. I don't struggle. I just ask him, what are you saying? Inside, he'll just tell you, this is what I'm saying. That business, take one, two, three steps. So next time you want guidance, where do you go to? And what do you do? Hmm? Inside, don't look up like this. <laughs> Even as you're sitting down now, he will tell you, as you're sitting down, he will tell you, this person is dangerous. He's only laughing with you, wicked man. He will tell you. Do I go to this politics? Will I win or lose? He will tell you you will lose. He will tell you you will win. He will tell you you will not win because of one, two, three. But in case he say, okay, well, if not, I'm going to lose. What do I do? He will tell you what to do again. <laughs> because not everybody that goes for election wins. Some lose. And there are some parties you belong to. You know from beginning you will not win. <laughs> and in case you are going to lose, you say, how do I lose gallantly? <laughs> he will tell you that even if you lose, go this way, surrender from the beginning <laughs> to this person, the person can give you an appointment. <laughs> I'm only joking. I hear that. But anything you tell him, as simple as that, anything you think is by you, he will tell you. He will do what? He will tell you because it's inside you. He will guide you. May he guide you from today. Amen. May he guide you from today. Amen. In Isaiah 48, 17 and 21, he said, Thus saith the Lord that did the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord that God which teacheth thee to what? Prophet. Which leadeth thee by the way that should go. That means he will lead you. He will lead you even in business where you will go and make profit. They tested not when he led them through the desert. It caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He cleaved the rock also and the waters gushed out. It was the one that told me to come to Port Harcourt. Is Port Harcourt in the Bible? No. <laughs> Are you hearing me, sir? He will tell you, resign and go and do this business. And then it tells you something must come out. And I pray today that he will direct you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Shout a better amen. Yeah. The Lord is my what? I shall not want. He maketh me to what? In green... Even though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. The Lord and the staff. He said, He prepares the table for me in the presence of what? My enemies. Surely, goodness and mercy are what? All the days of my life, if he's my shepherd. Be conscious of him, he's in you. Say, He's in me. So don't look too far. Don't look. Don't look too far. Most times we look where? Too far. Say the truth. So if I say now, talk to the Holy Spirit. Say the truth. You say, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Help me. You will know it's inside you. <laughs> say the truth. Okay. Let me stand up for one minute. I want you to do practicals. And we've done theory. You do practicals before I go further. Ask the Holy Spirit to talk to you concerning one issue. You don't need to say it out. Oh. Just quietly you can tell him. Tell him to look at one issue and say, Holy Spirit, guide me on this issue. And then don't look up, look inside. Say, Holy Spirit, you're inside of me. Guide me on this issue. What do I do? How do I study? What must I do? Holy Spirit, guide me. Guide me concerning this situation before me. It doesn't need long prayer. I want to be very proud. Have you done it? I mean, I've done it. Just lift your hand. Say, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. So practice it as a life. Are you getting what I'm saying? B. He testifies of Jesus. Some, another benefit of the Holy Spirit within us is testifies of who? Jesus. He testifies. In John 15, 26. John 15, 26. 
But when the Comforter is come, he shall, whom I will send to you, unto you from the Father, in the spirit of truth, we proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. He shall what? John 16, 14, John 14, 26, all of them say the same thing. He shall glorify me. He shall what? He shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. John 14, 26. But the covenant with the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Ghost, when the Father will send my name, he shall teach you all things. I bring you to you. Remember what I have said unto you. The Holy Spirit within you will make Jesus and the things of God real to you. Do you know why Jesus is not real to you? The Holy Ghost in you, you are not conscious. When you're conscious, he will make Jesus what? Real to you. He's the one who can make Jesus real to you. Some of us, we see Jesus as an abstract. True? He's the one that can make Jesus real to you that you don't doubt who Jesus is. Stay tuned. David Abume will be right back. Unending prosperity is God's plan for every believer. You are a God created to dominate and live in prosperity. David Ibiomie introduces Prosperity Series. I came from abject poverty and broke poverty by knowledge. If you're sinking in life, watch what you're thinking. You don't overcome poverty on the outside, you overcome poverty from the inside. Prosperity of the righteous. Prosperity is a function of your mental capacity. Your mental capacity triggers and determines your level of wealth. Principles of covenant wealth. Principles are not subject to the vicissitudes of nations or national economy. Living without financial pressures. Order, planning, and investments are relevant to breaking the hold of financial hardship. How to come out of debt. Contentment brings great gain. Discipline yourself and become a lender and not a borrower. Get these books at the Knowledge Center of Salvation Ministries and in leading bookstores worldwide. You can call plus 234-703-894-5714 plus 234-809-521-6466 or visit www.smhos.org forward slash store. They worship together regularly at the temple each day. Met in small groups in homes for communion and shared meals with great joy and thankfulness. Acts 2, 4-6 In your daily pursuit of a fulfilling life, you need the support of a spiritual family. A heaven where you can enjoy spiritual comfort. A brook where you can be refreshed with God's word and a military backup for fellow soldiers in Christ. Enjoy these and much more in the Cell Fellowship, designed as a close-knit setting for your personal revival, growth, and blessings. It exists in three structures, the Home Cell Fellowship, which is suited for everyone, the Corporate Cell Fellowship, which is convenient for corporate offices and organizations, and the Unique Cell Fellowship, which is made for students. No matter your preference, there is a place for you. Locate the nearest Cell Fellowship Center to you and begin reaping the benefits today. Welcome to Our Salvation with David Ibiomi. The Holy Ghost within you. The Holy Ghost within you will quicken your mortal body. So if your organs are dead, they'll be quickened. I've I, I been a beneficiary of that deep revelation. I said sometimes my kidneys were paining me. Life story. Years back, I told, I told nobody. I, I said, what is this? The pain was terrible. I know if I go to the hospital, they will tell me something. So I sat on the bed. I said, Holy Ghost, you are within me. You are within me. Meditate me, you are within me. Quicken my mortal body. All of a sudden, my <laughs> the pains left. And I did a test of research. They said, my kidneys are 100% perfect. Do you understand now? I didn't pray. I didn't ask anybody. I just said, Holy Ghost, you are within me. You quicken my mortal body. No, they are praying for you enough. Listen to teachings. Are you hearing me, sir? Too much pray for me. Pray for me. Pray me. Pray. But do that for me. Take a pray. Uh, walk on me. Uh, pray for me. If they don't pray for you, they are, are you not tired? Understand teaching. Okay. Brother.
What are the proofs of the consciousness of the Holy Spirit? Because if you say Holy Spirit is with you, there has to be proofs. There should be what? These are the proofs. Proofs of your consciousness of the Holy Spirit. So I'm I'm conscious. I'm conscious. These are the, if this is not there, A, you will live a holy life. You live what? Number one proof is that you live a holy life. When you are conscious of him, you will strive to live a holy life. Romans 1.4 And declare to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the, from the dead. Living a holy life makes you conscious not to grieve the Holy Spirit either in words or in action. It said, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. First scripture I quoted was Romans 1.4 and Ephesians 4.30. You will, when you are conscious of the Holy Spirit, if you grieve him, you easily repent and confess. You easily repent and do what? Confess. He said, cast not away. The psalmist, when, he made, when David made the mistakes, hear what he prayed in Psalm 51 verse 11. He said, cast me not away from thy presence. Do you hear him? And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. His major prayer was, don't take me away from your presence. I don't want to, my, what I've done should not make you to take the Holy Spirit from me. Do you understand his prayer? When you are conscious, you wouldn't want to live anyhow. Are you getting what I'm saying now? John 16, 8. And when he's come, he will reprove the world of what? Of sin and of righteousness. Is that clear? Glory to God. You want to live a what? A holy life because you're conscious of what? It's because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you wouldn't want to be defiling yourself and be living anyhow. Are you getting what I'm saying? Number B, you will love and reverence him. You will love and what? Reverence him. These are proofs. You love and reverence him. Your obedience is your show of love to the Holy Spirit. When you are conscious of his person, you will always obey and follow his instructions and leading. When God tells you anything, no matter how you feel, you will obey. He said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. When you are conscious, you will not be arguing with God. When you see someone arguing with God, you are not conscious of the Holy Spirit. John 2, 5, that's where I quoted. And Hebrews 13, verse 15 Shall we read together? One to go. Hebrews 3.15, sorry, 3.15, not 13.15. 3.15, one to go. While it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. So, any man who is conscious of the Holy Spirit, one of the proofs is that when God speaks to you, you will want obey. So here. You will love and reverence him. He told me, I love Lagos. He said, go to Paracourt. Are you going to have now? You will not want to stand on your ground. You will always want to do what he says you should do. So I hear. You say, well, this is what I wanted to do, but the Holy Ghost said I should do this. You won't struggle. You just follow that way. Are you getting me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Do you know that fear is a sign that you're not conscious of the Holy Spirit? <laughs> well, what you do like this. Hmm? Arrogance is a sign you're not conscious of who? When you start depending on yourself, you are not conscious of the Holy Spirit. Do you know when you're conscious of him, you depend on him, not on yourself. Hmm? Are you getting what I'm saying? If you struggle to love God and to love people, you don't have a proof of the Holy Spirit in you. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, you love people, you love God without struggle. Is that clear? Hmm? The most interesting thing in Christianity is to know the person of the Holy Spirit. That's the most interesting thing. Because everything is connected to him. When you are conscious of him, in you, hey, with you, and what? For you. Be conscious that God is also with you. Hmm? John 14, 16, 26. Be conscious that he's also what? With you. There's difference between in you and what? With you. It's in you, it's different from what? With you. Hebrews 13, verse 5, the be part. I will not forsake you. Hmm? For God, our God, and not just God, with the Holy Ghost and with the what? Who went about? You know, that I was sick, for God was with him. Now, let me explain this to you. Can God be with you on board a flight and the flight crash? So when you are flying, 
Know that God is with you and sleep. Hello. Can he be with you? And I'm robbers, open your door and point gun at you. He be conscious is with me even when I'm sleeping. Arm robbers can never. Arm robbers are open our door, could not enter. Life story. Armed to teeth. My wife and I were sleeping. They opened the door with the master key. Left their arms. They could not enter. Because of the consciousness. Because it can't be with you. Arm robbers enter where you are. We woke up in the morning, saw arms. AK-47, not one, not two. With sledgehammer. With this thing they used to burn gas. They left all and left. We didn't have any police dog. We didn't have anybody. But we had him with us. We were upstairs sleeping. The room door was open. We didn't know. They could not enter because of our consciousness of him. What? With us. I mean, understand what I'm saying. Mm. Christianity becomes sweet when you know these things. Who is with you now? You're sure? It's in you for direction, for guidance, but with you for things that has to do with challenge. And it's for you. Romans 8.31. It's what? If God, who can be? Now, now have you ever said, I said, nobody is with me, oh, so nobody for me, all the people are against me. Have you not said it before? Hey, 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 hey. Have you not said it before? Eh? You are not conscious that it's for you. He said, nobody. Everybody is for this man. Nobody. In my office, everybody, everybody is against me. Ah! If God be for you, who can be what? You have said it many times. If you see the old people are against me, everybody is against me. <laughs> when God is for you, no man can be against you. Rise to your feet. Pray this prayer after me. Wherever you are, say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you. As my personal Lord and Savior, I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. Now with my mouth, I declare you the Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. If this message blessed your life or you need someone to pray with you, feel free to call us on plus 234-811-470-9570 or plus 234-904-303-0711. We are here to listen and support you. Follow David Ibiomi online for daily prophecies and wisdom quotes for living via Instagram at David underscore Ibiomi, Twitter at David Ibiomi, Facebook at David Ibiomi. You can also listen and subscribe to the David Ibiomi podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, and much more. God bless you. Join us next time on Hour of Salvation with David Ibiomi. This message was brought to you by Salvation Ministries.